Over the last six years of being active with Flutter, I've seen lots of solutions to the same problem. Block, MobX, Provider, Riverpod, Scope Model, Watchit, and Redux. And there's probably a bunch more. The fun part is that you can make any of these solutions work, but what I ended up learning is you probably shouldn't. So some of the downsides of just using state management packages. Before we dive into how I solved this issue, I would like to talk a bit about the downsides of using large dependencies to solve issues around state. One, you have dependencies that are usually tightly coupled with your entire application, meaning if you ever need to migrate to another solution, it's going to be tough. Two, the major changes of a dependency could lead to high workload to make sure your application is using the new approach of that specific dependency. Three, not all apps become enterprise sized, so that added overhead in smaller apps might impact speed. Four, some of these packages require special testing solutions to confidently test your code base. Five, steep learning curves comes with these different solutions. A person well versed in Riverpod is not well versed in Block. So what is the solution? The solution is already part of the framework. It's mainly a matter of how and what approach you want to take. Depending on how you look at it, there are upsides and downsides of not having clear recommendations. Because of that, I will give you my recommendations. First, let's break down what is required from the concept of state management. Some kind of state should mark the widget as dirty and rebuild. The most clear cut example of this is using set state. Though as we all know, this is not a scalable approach to building out your state management approach. But there are two different types we need to learn about. The ephemeral state and the app state. For the ephemeral state, you should use this as much as possible. Make components that can handle their own state. In essence, the state is self-contained. A button should be able to block multiple tabs if an async call is in action. For app state, there are currently two main approaches here if we ignore the usages of streams. Change notifier and value notifier. Both these have builder widgets that will cause rebuilds when any of these requires state changes to happen. To provide data throughout your application, there are inherited widget and service locator. Use whatever you like the most. So here's what I do. For every page, you have a view model. That view model contains the state of that page and notifies whenever something is dirty and needs to be rebuilt. You can use change notifier or value notifier where I prefer the latter. Appwide services is classes provided throughout the application's lifecycle. I personally use value notifiers and service locator. So let me actually give you an example. I want to mention though that I go much further into this in our course, the best Flutter course on the internet that me and Tadas have created. But I will provide examples here as well. The most simple example I could create is the demonstration would be a counter feature. So first, we would have a counter page that initializes and holds a reference to the view model. Second, the counter page view model contains value notifiers, in this case a counter notifier, and relevant methods to increment and decrement. And the third step is the page uses a value listenable builder to react to the counter notifier. If you have other app-wide services, you dependency inject those with either a inherited widget or a service locator. This means that view model doesn't need to be provided with the inherited widget or similar. You could just pass it down the tree as pages usually have a limited depth. Now this is a fully scalable approach, doesn't rely on large dependencies and anyone that uses Flutter can understand without much ramp up time. So to summarize, Use ephemeral state as much as possible. Use change notifier or value notifier, where I prefer value notifier. Use different listenable builders depending on the notifier you use, and then keep it simple. You don't need to overcomplicate your setup, even if you want to scale to multiple hundred thousand lines or even millions.